Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, we are going to see how we can fix the problem of not getting data from data raptor extract action into the OmniScript. So has this ever happened with you that when you try to fetch record from a data raptor extract action and if the number of records is one, you are getting the nodes displayed on the data JSON right here. But if there are multiple records in uh, the the fetch operation, then you're not able to see the records in the data JSON. We're going to see how we can fix this today. So let me just walk you through the problems and what elements do we have in place. So first of all, we have this data raptor named XYZ, doesn't matter. And, and based on the filter criteria right here, it's going to give us some results. And if we see it's only re re returning it's only returning one value at this moment and if we call it from if we call the same from an omni script it's going to show the data in the data json uh, so a little bit about this omni script so in the omni script we just have one step element and one data raptor extract action this data after extract action is being invoked as soon as we launch the own script. So let's preview it and see what we are getting. <clears throat> so as you can see in the data JSON, we are getting the name and ID of the records that we are sending from here, the name and the ID. And it is working as expected. But everything changes when we return multiple records. Like for example, let's change this uh, string to AC. And if you preview it in the data raptor, it's going to return three records. Now, if you go back to the Omni script and try to refresh it, you won't see any of it. But if you go to the action debugger, okay, let me just do it once again. So the action debugger populates. So in the action debugger, you would be able to see that the response has multiple records. But we are not getting anything in the data JSON. Why is that? If you are able to find out and if you know the reason, please comment down below. Meanwhile, we will just go ahead and try to fix the issue. Now this is happening because we are returning multiple records at the same time. And if you see for each of each of these records, the name and IDs are the key. Now, if the Omni script tries to show a value for the name node, it will get confused because there are three nodes or three keys with the same name and it won't figure out which value to show corresponding to this key. In order to solve this, what we will have to do is we will have to send this record, this set of records as a list or, or as an array. And how do we do that? We will make some small tweaks in the output that we are mapping. So as you can see, uh, in the extract tab, you would be able to see that there is a master node that we need to define, which is called the extract output path. So using this, we can send multiple records. As you can see over here, accounts is the key and the value is going to be an array of objects. Objects are basically records over here. So if we make a small change, that is, we go and add accounts colon before this ID, it will be a part of the object that is in the array. If you are not able to understand what it is, you would get to see the changes right now. 
so we simply append the extract output path name over here and if now we preview the same just a minute something went wrong so this is accounts id accounts name oh, it was not saved it must be accounts colon id all right now if you try to preview it you would see that now all of these records are being sent within an array which can be denoted with accounts key now this accounts can have multiple records which can be accessed using accounts 0 accounts 1 and accounts 2 try to say this in action in the omni script let's preview it once more there you go now you can see that accounts is an object which is an array of three items the first one has these values the second one has these values and third one has these values so that's it for today guys thanks for watching and have a good day